planet Earth is a mixed living and non-living system. It is the suprasystem of all supranational systems, as well as the total ecological system, with all its living and non-living components. Scientists have recently updated their calculation on the number of species in the world. The figure mooted is 8.7 million, of which between approximately 1 and 2 million are animals. Given the huge amount of life that exists on Earth, it comes as no surprise that us humans make the odd mistake when identifying them. Here are eight of those commonly confused animals. Rabbits and hares, whilst at a distance might look very similar, with both belonging to the Lagomorpha order of animals, hares are generally larger and faster than rabbits, with longer ears. Hares have longer, stronger hind legs and bigger feet than rabbits. They tend to try and outrun predators, while rabbits escape to their warrens when threatened, and hares also have black markings on their fur. Moths and butterflies belong to the order Lepidoptera, and whilst people can often tell the difference perhaps between a small brown moth and a large colour butterfly, there are some varieties that are far more alike. The best general indicator to go by is their antennae, as a butterfly's antennae are club-shaped with a long shaft tipped by a bulb, while a moths are feathery or serrated. You can also look at the wings too, as butterfly wings fold up vertically over their backs, while moth wings are more tent-like and over their abdomen. Crocodiles and alligators are both reptiles from the order Crocodilia. The best way to tell the difference is by looking at their heads. Crocodiles have a longer head shaped like a V, whereas alligator heads are shorter and shaped like a U. Also, when an alligator closes its mouth, most of its teeth are hidden. But when a crocodile closes its mouth, many of the teeth protrude outside along the jawline. Crocodiles are also generally lighter in colour and are more aggressive than alligators. Donkeys and mules are commonly confused because mules are part donkey. A mule is effectively the love child of a female horse and a male donkey, and while mules generally can't mate, there have been several cases that prove fertility is possible. Because mules are only part donkey, they have larger ears, which they get from their mothers. They also have taller, larger bodies, like a horse, and their teeth, tails and coats are also more equine than a donkey's. Seals and sea lions are both pinnipeds, meaning they are fin-footed marine animals. But do you know how to tell the difference? Seals generally have stubby, thinly webbed flippers for their front feet, with a claw on each small toe compared to the larger, skin-covered flippers of sea lions. Seals are generally smaller and better adapted to the water than land, and as a result they will often belly crawl while sea lions can effectively walk. Seals also lack external ears, while sea lions have small flaps. If you see a group of pinnipeds hanging together and being raucous, they will be sea lions, as seals are loners and quiet, while sea lions are social and noisy. All tortoises, turtles and terrapins are reptiles and often referred to as Chelonians because they belong to the order Chelonia. The difference mostly refers to where they live and how they use their habitat. Turtles live mostly in water and have webbed feet for swimming, with generally flatter, more lightweight shells. Tortoises are land lovers with stumpy, non-webbed feet, which help them dig and navigate through rough ground. Tortoise shells are also heavier and more dome-like. Porpoises and dolphins, and 
and whales are all mammals that belong to the order Cetacea. Their main differences are evident in their faces, fins and bodies. Dolphins generally have prominent, long beaks and cone-shaped teeth. Porpoises have smaller mouths and spade-shaped teeth. Dolphins are generally leaner than porpoises and have a curved dorsal fin, while porpoises are more robust and have a triangular dorsal fin. Llamas and alpacas are even-toed ungulates that belong to the family Camelida. The most obvious difference can be their size, as most adult alpacas weigh between 45 and 80 kilos, while adult llamas are much larger and can reach up to 180 kilos. Other differences are apparent with their ears, as llamas have long curved ears, while alpacas are short spear-shaped. Llamas also have longer faces, while alpacas have less of a snout. And while it isn't always the case, llamas generally have a little hair on their face and head, while alpacas have a wonderful abundance of fluff. That's all from us today, so until next time, thank you so much for watching.